Hey guys, welcome to May's Community Craft Beer Festival Craft Box Recipe. This month we're making pork carnitas. The ingredients are pretty simple. Uh, a lot of it you'll find at your regular grocery store. The only thing that might be hard to find is the Boston butt or pork shoulder. Probably the hardest part of this recipe is butchering your pork shoulder. Now as you see me here, I find muscles that kind of go together and then work with that. And then when I get bored, I just cut it into one or two inch chunks. Uh, the size isn't really important. What's important is being consistent so that they all cook and are ready at the same time. Another great aspect to this recipe is that it's a single pot recipe. So here I have a, a larger Dutch oven that I'm filling with the pork cubes. I will then use the rub spread it over and then massage it all in and the the goal is that you're trying to get all six sides of each piece of pork to be equally in air quotes coated in the rub once that's done then you can add your cinnamon sticks and your bay leaves which are going to give a lot of great aromatics and it's going to leave your house smelling absolutely wonderful next squeeze in the juice of two or three limes again keep in mind that Different limes have different, amount, different amounts of juices in it. So, you know, use your best judgment, but you really can't go wrong with too much lime. When that's completed, you know, one of the final steps, throw in your diced garlic. And again, once that's done, mix it all together. Make sure you equally distribute everything. Over time, it will distribute itself, but let's start with a good solid base. This time around, I used so many friends from that Fast Eddie Brewing Company for the braising liquid. This is gonna help keep the pork nice and tender over a three to four hour cooking period. Now the ultimate goal here is to have the right amount of liquid so that by the end of the cook, that liquid has completely evaporated. In order to shave some time off the cook, you can actually get this started on the stove top. So throw it on the stove top. Once it reaches a boil like this, then you can then throw it in the oven. Make sure you stir it at about every half hour, an hour. Uh, the liquid that you see here, this was after about an hour's long worth of a cook. So it's starting to develop some color and some flavor. Here's when you know it's done. When you can put your fingers on it and it just absolutely falls apart. Now you're ready for the next stage. You're there. As an optional step, what I would suggest is finishing this off in the stove. And so what you see me here is taking everything out, putting it on a parchment lined baking sheet. I'm also going through and pulling out some of the fat that I didn't butcher off earlier because I want that fat cooking in the braising liquid as it's going. And then after we have this in the oven for 10 minutes, you can see here, we developed a lot of really nice color and a little bit of crunch to give you a little bit of a different uh, textural feel as you bite into it. All right, let's finish these tacos and get to eating. What you see me here doing is putting on some sour cream chipotle sauce, covering it with the pork carnitas mixture. And then after that, it sh you should keep it really super simple, right? Some finely diced onions. I put feta cheese on, as well as a shake or two of dried cilantro. If you have fresh, definitely go for it. Sometimes it's shown as um, coriander instead of cilantro. Either way, same thing, but it's a really nice finish. And then just squeeze a little bit of lime juice on it to throw in some acidity and you're ready to eat it. And a different option. This time we're going with a flour tortilla. I'm gonna put down some taco sauce on top of it. Again, with the feta cheese, cause it's a really nice kind of texture to it, kind of slightly creamy. And then again, with the diced onions, dried cilantro, and a squeeze of lime juice. And that's beer braised pork carnitas. Thanks a lot, guys. I hope you make this recipe and I hope you really enjoy it. And I hope to see you next month in June when we release our next box. Take care, have a great day.